I wanted a system really bad, but that involved human abduction. Because the person comes with the system. <laughs> I had to take the handcuffs off. This is Mr. Allen, storage aficionado. Uh -huh. And this, this is the first PCI Express 5 system well, that I can lay my hands on. I mean, you have systems that have with PCI storage. Express. Oh, with yes. Uh, with the PCI, PCI Express 5 is actually operating a PCI Express 5. Yes. yes. The link is going Gen 5. <laughs> there is a lot of Alder Lake here, but so right now this thing is equipped with two Samsung PCI Express 5 SSDs mm -hmm. in the two by eight slots in our Asus. Uh, it's uh, it's the, their Apex board, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So two PCI Express by eight five slots. Mm -hmm. We don't yet have carriers that can do PCI Express 4 and PCI Express 4 on the same carrier. Because you could theoretically run by eight by four by four, but nobody's doing that. Yeah. Theoretically. Right. In practice, that's a whole different thing. I'm not sure the boards will even support that yet. Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. little bit of a problem. Yeah. You might be able to do it with a board that has its own uh, re-driver and a separate timer circuit, but yeah. you shouldn't need a full PLX bridge. But a P PCI Express is weird. Like, depending on which board you get, there's actually, like the, the C690 chipset is actually pretty cool in that there are boards where you can have, you know, three Gen 4, nah, granted this is Gen 5, but you can have three Gen 4 M.2s hanging off of the chipset, chipset and getting two thirds of that bandwidth. Yeah. Plus through, through one through the CPU. Yeah, and you can have one on the CPU, and you can make an array of them together. Yeah, like in the BIOS, like that's it's all pretty flexible in yeah. that respect. But if if Gen four speed is not good enough, I did a video <laughs> on setting up the VMD RAID stuff, which I got to say is insanely way better. Yeah. than whatever was on the uh, anything before it, pretty much. Yeah, X, especially yeah. X two ninety nine, but also even the Xeon platform that the EVGA SR three Dark, the you know W thirty one seventy five X. Right. So yeah, uh, this goes this goes pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> 28, 29 gigabytes per second. If yeah. we disable all the power management, I can juice it and get just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, single drive is a uh, single drive is like thirteen point eight ish. <laughs> Wendell just keeps looking at the number. <laughs> I can do the little speedometer thing, the hour speedometer thing. <laughs> now, some of you might say, "Wait a minute." Two drives is faster than one drive. It's because one drive doesn't load the system enough to prevent it from going to sleep. Oh yeah. yeah if yeah. you want one drive to go at 15 gigabytes per second, yeah, you gotta disable power management. Yeah, we can actually here, run this one. So with two drives running, yeah, it's doing high 27. Sometimes it runs below 28, sometimes it goes over it. Yeah, it's bouncing around. But if you look at the one, I just have one drive selected over here. So we got 13.8, 13.9, 14.0, like it's bouncing around there for gigabytes per second. But if I kill this guy and only talk to one of them instead, right? Alder Lake is just like, ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're only talking to one drive, then then you know you're not doing 14.0 anymore. You're doing 13.7, 13.8. Yes. Uh, and that's now I can go in there and put it in high performance mode and disable C states and do some other tricks to get you know more performance out of the system. But for this, it's just <laughs> let's disable E cores and juice the ring voltage. I, I mean. <laughs> You could, but again, remember this is sequential, so we're probably close to the bottleneck of the bus anyway. So you're not going to get much beyond 14.0. Now what I want to do is throw a 3090 in here. I noticed this is a 1200 watt power supply. Uh -huh. Let's uh -huh. get a Founders Edition 3090 and throw that in here and do 3D mark while we're doing disk benchmarks. Hmm. Because the 3090 is going to link up at PCI Express by eight, and that 3090 shouldn't bottleneck at PCI Express 4.0 by eight. But uh, we can try it. Let's see what happens. Kind of curious. So what sort of madness do we have going on here? Well, we've got the 3090, the RTX 3090, running Firestrike at, you know, 100, 200 FPS. Meanwhile, our SSD is uh, cruising along at 13.8, 13.9 gigabytes per second. So our 3090 is running at PCI Express 4.0 by eight. And our SSD continues to run at 14 gigabytes per second. Well over Gen 4 speed. Well over Gen 4 speed. Yeah. Drops a little. Uh, you lose, you know, 500 megabytes to a gigabyte per second when the benchmark is really, really hammering the system. But that's very respectable. I'm very impressed. I mean, this is a desktop platform. We clearly do not have bandwidth issues with Alder Lake. This also bodes well for people that might want to run a raid of NVMe while gaming. It's like, let me unpack those those uh, zip files in the background on the e-cores while 
also gaming on the P cores. Mm -hmm. 40,000, that seems 48,000 graphics score, physics score, 41,000 combined score, 16, 886, while running a 13 gigabyte per second disk <laughs> benchmark. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's do Time Spy. So here we are running Time Spy. We've added a fan, because I'm a fan of PCI Express 5. Har har. <laughs> We are again running well over 100 FPS and still managing 13 gigabytes per second from our Samsung PCI Express 5 SSD. Now while this is running, we've also got some other PCI Express 5 products that are coming right up from Fison. So this is a PCI Express add-in card, SANS heatsink, but it is also available in M.2 format or planned in M.2 format. Yep. This is the E26. Yeah. So their next generation PCI Express 5 controller. Yep. I got Samsung, Fizon, I'm sure Silicon Motion will have something. Probably everybody's gonna have something <laughs> at some point. Right? And it's really funny because uh, if you didn't check out our server video, uh, you should, because this is the consumer version of this SSD, but you can see the enterprise version uses the same PCB because all those capacitors, those are power loss capacitors. And uh, that's not a working card, that's like meant for CES uh, booth show off card, but uh, I have heard from Fizon that like their, their card sequential performance is similar to like what we're getting here on the Samsung. Yeah. So it's just like Gen 5, four lanes, that's our brown, what you're gonna get is a, a little bit under 14 gig per second max possible throughput. Now if you wanna run PCI Express 5 in your desktop system, enterprise grade drives are probably gonna be available first. I mean, the Samsung drive is an enterprise grade drive. Yeah. Clearly Fison has the enterprise in mind with the dozens of power loss capacitors yeah, on yeah. this PCB. But you know, the M.2 version, you know, that is a little bit more standard looking. So it'll probably be a little while before we see these for the desktop. But uh, Alder Lake, if you're gonna run PCI Express 5 for storage, there's only a couple of motherboards you can use that actually break that PCI Express 5 bandwidth into two by eight by eight slots. Right, yeah, they'll have a, a beefier looking uh, M.2 slot sitting right next to the GPU primary slot. Well, that's the normal location for them, but some of them are wired to the four Gen 4 lanes that are dedicated for storage. But so, yeah, some boards do have, uh, it basically acts as if it was like the second, you know, basically where on this Apex board, where our uh, Gen 5 SSD is sitting, instead of the lanes going down there for the other eight lanes that are Gen 5, they just go, they take only four of them and they put them on the M.2 slot okay. on top. Right? So you could run by eight by four by four if the board is designed that way, probably, maybe? No, no, because those other boards, they that other slot down there on, near the bottom is Gen 4, not Gen 5. Oh, okay. So that's they're kind of flipping it around, so you really have to be careful and, and look through the, the <laughs> Which specs. Which board am I using? It, it, yeah, yeah. It's, if it know. was me, I'd rather have this anyway. Oh, yeah. Wendell's just... Dazzled by the, I don't know, is that a respectable score for it's it's nineteen nineteen thousand two hundred ninety five, which you know Alder Lake twelve cores, blah blah, blah thirty ninety. But while running a 13, 14 gigabyte per second benchmark, yeah, dual benchmarks, dual wielding benchmarks here. That's yeah, pretty darn good. Still sitting there doing thirteen point eight. Good thing we added the fan because <laughs> that is a drive that's meant to be in a server with the, the know, x amount of airflow going yeah. across it. Yeah, so we figured we'd be a little careful there with the <laughs> with the fan. Wow. I love this. This is awesome. This has been an early look at PCI Express Gen 5. And uh, yeah, this is uh, it's really interesting stuff. I can't wait for more final shipping versions of these SSDs where we can do a little bit more testing than what we've done. But still, this is really impressive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. the M.2 stuff will be your more, you know, Pedestrian. More pedestrian, yeah. <laughs> put, put just one of those in a gaming system, then you're less likely to need to mess around with RAID. You know, if you can get upwards of 13 gig a second. I don't think you understand the level of enthusiasm in our audience. They are willing to yeah, buy 5800X SSDs and RAID Zero them. I just, just, listen, <laughs> I, I was one of the people behind trying to get them out to reviewers and you didn't like... Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just salty that I can't get an Amazon affiliate link for the P5800Xs. But hey, what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, this has been fun. So thank you for hanging out. And be sure to check out our other video on the server platform, uh, not for PCI Express 5, but for persistent memory. You could learn a thing or two, probably. Possibly, maybe. Maybe. Woo! All right, we'll catch you later. <laughs>